Governor Ron DeSantis signed a bill banning most abortions after six weeks of pregnancy in a private ceremony in his office late Thursday night. Although the bill has been signed, it has not yet entered into force. Whether that will depend on outcome of the Florida Supreme Court decision, advocates expect later this year to relate to state's 15-week abortion ban last year. DeSantis' office announced the signing in a highly unusual scent after 11 p.m., then updated its schedule to say the ceremony was at 10.45 p.m. Just, Florida legislature sent bill to its table after it was passed by Florida Assembly by a 70-40 vote, with seven Republicans joining Democrats in opposition. Legislation prohibits abortion after six weeks in most cases, with the exceptions of rape, incest and human trafficking. In these cases, women with documents proving guilt can have an abortion up to the 15th week of pregnancy. Because many people do not realize they are pregnant before six weeks, it could effectively eliminate most abortions in Florida if the measure is allowed to take effect. The six-week threshold begins on the date the person last menstruated. Earlier Thursday evening, DeSantis was giving a speech at the Butler County GOP Lincoln Day Dinner in Ohio as part of his nationwide tour where he was testing the waters for a potential presidential race. According the local party's website, some of the desks closest to DeSantis were selling for $10,000 $15,000. While pro-life groups were quick to applaud DeSantis for signing the bill, opponents seemed shocked by the bill's rapid turnaround. Marjorie Dannenfelser, president of Susan B. Anthony Pro-Life America, called it an enormous victory in the fight for human rights and applauded that Florida would no longer be the place for abortion. But cutback to women in the wider South was a point of criticism from White House. Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre said Thursday before the bill was signed that this ban will also affect the approximately 15 million women of reproductive age living in southern abortion ban states, many of whom have had abortions before, relied on traveling to Florida as an option to access care. The number of non-Floridas coming Florida for abortion increased approximately 38% from 2021 to 2022. This year, Supreme Court's case protecting access abortion across the country was overturned, and many states, particularly South, were blocked. Full access to abortion. Stay update with Tampa Bay's top headlines to our free day starter every weekday morning. We'll bring you the latest news and information you need know. E.